The Webster County Board of Supervisors voted to ask the Iowa Utilities Board to restrict carbon pipelines companies from using public domain to go across landowners' property. And WHO 13's Roger Riley was in Fort Dodge today. This is an issue of how public domain can be used, right, Roger? Uh, that's right, Aaron. You know, basically the supervisors, vo their vote today meant they want to keep carbon capture pipelines from using that public domain because some view this project, uh, while noble on many fronts, that it was w not one that would directly serve local residents of Webster County. We support any growth in Iowa and Webster County when it comes to industries and other companies. However, when a private pipeline wants to use eminent domain, to go across somebody's property, they should work with that property owner to figure out a way to make it work for everybody. Yeah. Now today the supervisors in their meeting heard from some landowners about the need to protect their property values, a concern if a pipeline is installed. Allen Hike farms near Duncombe with his son Austin and they're, they're in the process of, Austin is in the process of taking over for his dad as he retires. Now they're concerned that the pipeline companies could come in and undo work they've done on converting their farm to no-till. Once the easement is established, I have no control over my land at all. And they're basically going to plow through it whenever they want. And they're going to have this control over the life of this forever. When I look at the future sustainability of our farm, once we tear that up and I have to change my farming practice, that's, it's incurred expenses on me. It's, in, it's trying to get our soil quality back. It's now, uh, these two Webster County farmers I talked to today say they are are hopeful that there's going to be some more hearings here in this area of Fort Dodge that they'll be able to express that and kind of find out, get this uh, public domain thing nailed down to make sure that that's not part of the equation. But they're looking forward to voicing their opinion more at future public hearings down the road. Okay, more to come on this. Thanks a lot, Roger yep. Radley, reporting live for us from Fort Dodge.